Here's why you should take the ACT over the SAT in the 2022-23 school year. First, let's expel a myth. Colleges do not prefer the ACT over the SAT or vice versa. They're just looking for a way to judge your academic performance. In fact, from about 2012 to 2017, the ACT was way more popular than the SAT. The SAT only became more popular in recent years due to various partnerships that College Board has been doing. You can verify this info online, as I did, by just doing your own research on Google. Now, I'm going to be sharing my reasoning for why the ACT is better. I'm 17 and so I actually took the ACT in 2022, unlike the many other videos on YouTube that are outdated. So my goal is to provide you with my most recent experiences and the most recent test info. My name is Rishabh, I got a 36 on the ACT and my philosophy is to work smarter, not harder. So let's get into how you can work smarter by taking the ACT over the SAT. So reason number one is actually related to math. I know everyone's favorite subject, but can you answer this question? What's the derivative of x squared? What's the integral of 3x squared? Well, if you couldn't, that's totally fine because the ACT and SAT don't expect you to know calculus. But if you do know calculus, you're likely an advanced math student. And advanced math students will typically have a better time on the ACT because the ACT tests harder math topics like trig. But the ACT can be more forgiving in the other subjects like reading. I'll touch more on reading in a bit, but let's first get into the score averaging for reason number two. Let's say we have a student named Bob who gets a 34 on math. And Bob also gets a 34 on reading and a 34 on English. Wow, it looks like Bob's probably gonna get a 34 overall, right? Well, no, Bob gets a 36 on science. Guess what? Bob just got a 35 composite score. I found this really helpful for science students because if you score really well on science, it can weight your other sections accordingly. So if you're a science student who's taken a lot of AP science classes and you're familiar with all those wacky graphs and tables and that dense reading, then you can score really well on science and it can weight up your other sections. So consider taking the ACT over the SAT, but remember the best way to truly know if you'll benefit from this, even if you've taken AP science classes in the past, is simply by taking a practice ACT section online. And finally, reason number three, are you a good test taker? The ACT requires difficult test taking tips because it assumes that you'll be good under tough time constraints. You have very little time on each question for both reading and math on the ACT compared to the SAT. However, this means that the questions are often less complex and can be done faster. It's pretty well agreed upon online that the SAT reading section is more complex due to evidence and it can be harder than the ACT reading. So if you can handle the time pressure and are good at taking strict time tests, the ACT can be a good choice. Okay, so what are you going to do now with these three reasons? Well, you're going to take both an ACT and SAT practice test this weekend to make sure and finalize your choice. But before you do that, watch the next video on the screen where I tell you all my tips for how to get a 36 on the ACT with minimal studying. Subscribe for more of these videos. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Comment any test taking tips you have down so people can benefit in the comment section and goodbye.